Okay, good afternoon to everyone. So, how are you? I hope you are all fine. So, I am I am your OLC for today. So, my name is Cheryl Joy M. Raspado. So, from AMA Computer College, Santiago Campus. So, one of the branches here in Isabela. So, our topic for today is under week 11, which is graphic design. Okay. So, on this graphic design, anyone can define in your own words, what is graphic design? Okay. So, you can answer that one using the chat box. And then, later, I will read your answer. So, maybe if your answer is good, malay mo, baka magbigay ako ng load sa'yo. O, di ba? Okay. So, start using the chat box. Okay. So, what is graphic design? Okay. Okay, so ang dami na. Copy-paste daw. Okay. So it must be on your own words. Okay, so very good. Ang dami na, ang dami na sumasagot. Nice. Okay. So, our objective for today's topic, oh, students should be able to define what is graphic design. Then, discuss on how digital imaging works, the differentiate between vector and raster, and loosely and lossless. Discuss the different image, image file formats, explain the basic concept of GIMP. Okay. So, graphic design. Okay, so it is a form of visual communication that uses words and images to express an idea or send a message. So it is used for a various purposes. So from the word visual communication that uses words and images. So ito yung ginagamit natin para may express natin into words. Okay, so another Example is we have the typography. We can see it everywhere. So example is the quotes that we read, the traffic signs, the road signs, and so on. So typographic is a style or appearance of text. text. It also refers to the art of working with text. So what are the things we need to Consider if we are creating of this. Okay. So, because we are using text, so we need to consider the font style, the font size. Okay. So, it must be read, readable to the people. Another is the hierarchy. So, if we say hierarchy, used to guide the readers I to what ever is the most important. So, dapat meron tayong emphasis. So, pag dito sana sa word natin, sa PowerPoint, it will it will it will use the bold bold format para alam natin na meron siyang ibig sabihin nun. Nilalagyan natin ng emphasis. And then next, line is spacing. The space between line of text. Okay. So, dapat hindi siya dikit-dikit. Meron siyang line spacing para mas mababasa ng tao. And then next is the color combination. So, pag gumagawa tayo ng graphic design, we need to consider the color. Hindi tayo basta-basta na nagbe-blend ng color. So maybe yung background natin is light and then gumamit pa tayo ng light na font ng font color ng text. So both are font. So dapat meron siyang pang-contrast. Kung dark yung color ng background natin, 
gawin natin na light yung text. Kung baliktad naman, kung light yung, yung background, gawin natin na dark yung, yung text natin. Okay. So, use bright colors to catch people's attention. So, this is very important. Okay. So, dapat nakakatch up natin yung attention ng tao. Another example is yung traffic or the road signs. So, ano ba yung mga napapansin natin sa road signs? So, di ba sa road, sa road sign, it's either na yellow and black or white and red. Okay. So, bakit nga ba yun lang yung ginagamit nila? Okay, so simple lang na sinasabi per, para mas madaling intindihin ng tao. So that's it kung bakit natin kailangan na i-consider yung mga yun. Yung the color, the background, yung line spacing, yung font na ginagamit natin. Okay. So, if you are designing, omit the unnecessary details and check if the color you, you used is good to the eyes. So, always yun na we need to check or kaya ipajudge natin para makuha natin yung suggestion nila. Ang akala natin maganda na sa atin pero yun pala sa tao or sa madla ay hindi nakakakachi. So, Pakinggan natin kung ano yung suggestion nila, kung ano yung dapat i-improve natin. Kasi yun is isang dapat natin i-consider sa as a graphic designer. Okay. So, digital image. So, the digital version of two dimension. So, it can be either a vector or a raster. So, what is vector and what is a raster? So, for example, if we download an image in the internet or from the internet, when we zoom it, what happened? Maybe the quality of the image is changing. So, nababago. Ito yung pag zoom out natin ay nagiging pixelated. Nagiging malabo na yung image natin. So, ano yung tawag natin pag yun yung na-identify natin or na-experience -e natin? Okay. So, once na nag-zoom tayo ng picture at hindi nababago yung image niya, okay, so that is vector. So, yung pag zoom out natin, pinapalakihan natin, hindi nababago yung quality niya. So, contains points, lines, and shape. So, retain its quality even if you zoom in on it. So, ayan. Kahit nga zoom natin, so from this small letter A, medium A, and then large A. Ganyan na ganyan. Pero, once na nag-zoom tayo ng images at naging basag, naging pixelated, that is called raster. Okay. So, in short, yung vector natin is yun yung, yung pag zoom out, nababasa. Ang raster, yun yung mababa yung quality niya. Okay. Another is the image compression. So, the method of reducing the file size. Okay. So, once na nag-upload ba tayo ng image? Pag dinownload ba natin, the same pa rin ba yung size niya? Okay. So, Let's say we down we upload a file that has 1.2 MB. Then we try to download it. That picture we send it to our classmates, and then our classmate download it. Then um, 
pina-check mo kung ano yung size niya. Yung 1.2 ba na MV, ay yun pa rin ba yung size pag dinownload niya. Okay. So, hindi na. Kasi once na na-upload natin at i-download natin, so sum of data is nagiging nawawala na, then nagiging compress na yung data natin. Okay. So that is the lossless compression and lossy compression. Nako-compress pag lossy siya. Yun na yung nagiging PNG bitmap yung extension name ng mga pictures natin. Okay. So we have here the different types or image file format. So we have the JPG or the JPEG. So we meaning joint photographic excerpt group. So that is considered as lossly and then commonly used in the website. So yan yung ginagamit natin. So ito yung pag dinownload natin, ito yung hindi basag-basag yung picture. Uh, GIF, graphics interchange format. So lossless. Support 256 color, support basic animation, ideal for image with sharp edge and few colors. So, ito yung GIF, ito yung gumagalaw-galaw. Okay, then next is the PNG, portable network graphics. So, it is open source alternative to GIF. So, this is the considered as lossless. And then, it supports 16 million colors. So, di ba pag nagsisave tayo or nag edit tayo, andyan yung PNG, JPEG, bitmap, o yung mga extension names. So, yun yung tinatawag natin na file format. And then, next is GIMP or GNU Image Manipulation Program. So, it is open source which means anyone can download and use it for free. So, ma'am, pwede bang gamitin natin yung Photoshop? Yes. Pwede po. Kung madami, madami pa naman pong mga applications na pwedeng pang graphic design. Kung, sin, an, kung ano yung gamay mo at mas nadadalian ka, you can use that one. Okay. So, on this, you using the GIM. Okay. So, how to, uh, how to download and install? So, downloading and installing the GIM is pretty straightforward. First, go to the official website. Go to the official website, GIMP.org, and then download the latest version. Then click it to start your download. Once you've downloaded, the installer file, open it and follow the instruction to install the GIMP. Same with pag gumagamit tayo ng Adobe Photoshop, mga Illustrator. Okay, so we need to download it and then install it in our PC. And then some of the applications need a high requirement of hardware. So, minsan, hindi na iloload ng Photoshop kung mababa yung hardware ng laptop natin or desktop. So, there are applications na merong mga, meron talagang mga requirement. So, i-check nyo yun kung ano yung mga requirement para hindi maglalagyang laptop or desktop ninyo once na gumamit kayo ng pang graphic design. Okay. So, creating a document. To create a new document, click file then new. In the window that will open, you can set the size of the image. Click the PX drop down button to select what unit of the measurement you want to use. Use you can choose from pixels, inches, millimeter, centimeter. Click OK once you're done using. So, same here. So, sa GN, GIMP, so ganito din. Sa Photoshop, ganito din naman yung magpa-pop up. So, once na gumawa ka ng new, ayan, ganito. Kung isi-set natin kung ano yung 
kailangan natin kung ano yung size natin, ano yung measurement na gagamitin natin. It can do na pixel, it can do na centimeter, it can do na millimeter. Okay, so we have the basic concepts. So we have the images, layers, resolution, selection, and then undoing. So if we say images, so from the word na image, isang a single file like a JPG or PNG. Okay. And then layer. Oh, an image can be composed in one or several layers. Basically, itself is an image with transparent area. Layers are stuck on top of each other to form an image. So from the word na layer, ito yung patong-patong. Okay. So kung nag edit tayo, ayun, makikita mo doon. May layer doon sa... On the right side, oh, makikita mo doon. So, layer, kung ano yung picture na naka-layer. Okay. So, resolution is the ratio between the size of image in pixel and its physical size when printed on a paper. So, the more pixels there are in an image, the better the quality of the image is. The most common unit is measure meant for resolution is pixel per inches or PPI. So, this one, kung magpapaprint tayo ng tarpaulin, ng invitations, ganon, so makikita mo dito. So, kung basag yung output ng image na ginawa mo or yung design, so, ibig sabihin, you have a low quality. So, if your output is good and it is not pixelated, so, it has a high quality. Okay. So, selection. So, ito yung pag nagpaprint tayo ng tarpaulin kasi is sa resolution, basag siya. Hindi na kukuha yung gusto mong kulay, hindi na kukuha yung gusto mo na image niya. Kumbaga, wasak na wasak siya. Then, selections. When using GIMP, you will want to isolate some part of an image so that your action will only apply to the part and not to the rest of the image. So, this part is called selection. So, in GIMP, moving dashes lines, which sometimes called marching ants marks a selection. Same with the Adobe Photoshop naman. So, once na may sinelect ka na image at yun lang yung gusto mong galawin, so, yung, na, yung nababalutan or na palibutan ng ng pangalan nito, broken line, so, that is selection. Okay. So, undoing, so, from the word na undo. So, redo, undo. Okay. Then last, what are the tips you need to consider? So, consider the viewer. Bakit natin kailangan na i-consider si viewer? Okay. Para, mababa, ma, para alam natin kung maganda yung output natin or hindi. So, dapat readable ba yun dun sa tao? Nakukuha ba niya yung gusto natin i-point out? Okay. So learn from other people. Kung nag-self study, kung nag-self exploration ka at merong syempre, meron kang hindi nasundan, okay. So other people can help you. So if ever na may gusto kang gawin na hindi mo magawa-gawa, okay, you can tap the person who is expert on that thing. Take advantage of free stuff. And then, keep it simple. So, dapat um, readable siya. Yung combination of colors ay maganda sa mata.
So, yun yung mga dapat natin na i-consider. So, let's say na gumagawa kayo ng invitation. So, ano ba yung dapat na i-consider lang natin dun sa invitation? So, kung ano yung team niya. Kung let's say na we have the birthday party, kung ano yung team. Kung ano, kung saan, kung anong oras, kung saan ang venue. Okay. So, kung ano yung mga importante lang na detail, yun lang yung ilagay natin. Okay. So, that's all for week 11.